Hi, my name is Brian. In this video, we're going to find the derivative of f of x, which is negative 3x plus 14, using the limit definition of the derivative. Now we have two different definitions, and we're going to actually do both of them in this video. So I want to take a look at the graph of negative 3x plus 14, mainly so that we can see that the slope at any given point on this graph is negative 3. Right, because of the mx plus b form that this line is, the slope is going to be negative 3. So what we're going to do is, when we find the derivative using the limit definition, our answer is going to be negative 3. So let's go ahead and prove that now. Uh, let's go ahead and use, uh, which I want to use this definition first, okay, uh, for the derivative, but then we're going to use this one second. All right, so let's get started. So first step would be to write out the definition of the derivative. Make sure you are using this limit, uh, and that limit stays with you the whole time until you actually do take the limit. All right, f of x is, well, we already know what f of x is. I would recommend that you put the function in parentheses. Same with f of a. So you have minus, and then f of a, which is negative 3a plus 14 all over your x minus a. All right, now you want to simplify the top by removing parentheses. You're going to have the limit as x approaches a. All right, uh, there's, a, there's technically like a little one in front of these parentheses, so you can just remove those and just have negative 3x plus 14. Uh, but then when you remove the parentheses on this piece, you have to distribute that negative sign. So now, Instead of negative 3a, it's going to be a positive 3a, and then a minus 14, all over x minus a. Okay, after you simplify, well, I shouldn't say simplify, distribute, get rid of parentheses, see if there's anything that cancels. Uh, hopefully, stuff does. In this case, the 14s cancel, leaving us negative 3x plus 3a on top, and x minus a on the bottom. Now what we're going to do here at this point is factor out negative 3. Now why, why negative 3? Well, your goal is to get rid of this x minus a that we have floating around on the bottom. And you're not done until you get rid of it. So you need a factor of x minus a from the top. If you remove a negative 3 from the top, then what you're going to have, pull out a negative 3, you're going to have a positive x minus a, and there's your x minus a for the top. All right, those will cancel, and you're left with the limit as x approaches a of negative 3, and the limit of any constant is a constant. So f prime of a from up here, we worked it all the way down to the limit of negative 3, which is negative 3. And we already knew that the slope was going to be negative 3, so this does check. Let's go ahead now and do the second limit definition. All right, this one, it, it's not too bad, but I think people have trouble with writing this out. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and actually write f of a plus h. Now, all you're doing is you're replacing this x right here. Oops, sorry. You're replacing that x with a plus h. So that's going to be negative 3 a plus h plus 14. So that's what's going to go right here. And it's the limit as h goes to 0. So we have negative 3 a plus h plus 14. And you're going to minus, and I'm going to put these in brackets because there's a lot of parentheses going around now, f of a. Now f of a, we already did, was negative 3a plus 14. You're going to do all over h. Now we do got to clean up the top, so that means distribute this negative 3 in, as well as this negative over here. So we're going to get negative 3a minus 3h plus 14 plus 3a minus 14 all over h. Don't forget the limits. Now, uh, what cancels? We have a negative 3a and a positive 3a, so those cancel. 
We have a 14 and a minus 14. Those cancel. All that's left is negative 3h on top and an h on the bottom. And these h's cancel. And remember, you're done when this denominator of h goes away, which we just did. Now what's left is the limit of negative 3, which is exactly what we got in the last example. And the limit of a constant, again, is that constant. So f prime of a is negative 3, which again matches because the slope at any point on this graph for any a, right? if that was a, this could be a, it doesn't matter, the slope will always be negative 3. So I have two examples I have up on the screen now. I'd like you to try them. And the solutions to these suggested problems and more information about the school I work at, NIU, please visit the link down below.